Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Sab if you're new here. Happy Thursday, happy Friday Eve. I hope you all are in good spirits. I hope you all are looking forward to the weekend just like I am. Thank you so much for all your sweet comments on the legacy build. My last video, we redid the legacy lot in the modern farmhouse style for Sarah. I'm so glad that you guys enjoyed it. I can't wait to show you guys who haven't seen it yet what the house looks like. I honestly don't really have much to update y'all on this morning, but I hope you guys are all doing really, really well. I love you. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's get into it, shall we? All right, so I was busy this morning. I completely redid my Willow Creek. It was looking a little crusty, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I placed um, all new restaurants. This area was residential before, but I thought it would be like a cute like strip of businesses. You know what I mean? It's like a nice little like, I don't even know what shape this is. A dome shaped area where you could just walk down and hit all the businesses, you know what I mean? So uh, yeah, we've got three new restaurants here, a cafe. We've got the vegan restaurant that I built forever ago, a, a boba shop, a bar, a spa, a park. And then I also replaced all of the houses in Willow Creek as well. It just looks so, it looks so polished and clean. <laughs> I'm a fan. And then in Newcrest, I also placed some more stuff. Um, I placed a bunch of more restaurants because we've been going to restaurants a lot and we need restaurants. I placed a bunch of bars. So this is like the bar area. This is the restaurant area. And then this one I do want to replace because it's kind of an eyesore from this view. I'm not going to lie. But uh, yeah, there's a lounge here. We have a nightclub, a cafe, a gym, and then I don't know what I wanna put here, but I'll, I'll think of something. <laughs> Let's hop into the household and I'll show you guys the build. So my birthday is coming up. Uh, it's on the 5th, so less than three weeks away. I think so, holy crap. I just like put that, just put it into perspective for me that I need to figure out what I wanna do. <laughs> I'm excited. It's on the 5th. Uh, if your birthday is September 5th or anywhere near there, let me know in the comments. Okay, so here we are back in the legacy household. Here's our, oops, hold on. Gotta put the walls up. Uh, here's our newly renovated house. Um, it's definitely giving modern farm. I don't know if you guys agree, but I really like the way that it turned out. We have, um, a chicken coop. I got a couple of animal sheds here, which um, a couple of you guys in the comments suggested that I fence it off, which is probably a good idea. Um, Cause then they'll just be like wandering all around. Um, gave Ren's house a new paint job. I uh, fenced in this pond over here. I just kind of like went around and gave everything just like a little spruce, you know? I just like cleaned up the clutter and stuff. The barn has a new paint job. Uh, what else did I do? Oh yes, over here. That house is empty right now. We'll probably use it for something in the future, but the barn. And then I gave the, <clears throat> oops, I gave the graveyard a little bit of a spruce as well. I organized it, put some flowers on every headstone. This is every Sim that has died on this lot so far. Uh, I was saying in the last video that it's a lot more than I remember, but yeah, let me um, show you guys the inside of the house here. So uh, we've got like a little outdoor seating area, of course, gotta have that. Another seating area over here, but this one has the bonfire pit. And then in here is our new house. So I decorated it in Sarah's style. Um, I just love the color palette in here. Um, it just feels really warm and cozy. So the living room is over here. Um, if you guys want more details about the build, go watch my last video. I talk a lot about the CC that I used and uh, just the process of building it. We have a full bathroom downstairs. Hi! Uh, this is the kitchen. And then heading upstairs, we just have a little landing area. Three bedrooms, three bathrooms. This is our little office nook. This bedroom over here is like a cozy uh, skill building room. Um, it has a balcony. We've got a piano, fish, guitar, a little um, bar situation, and a place to hang out, of course. This room right here is Edison's room. 
Um, it's a lot smaller than his last room. I was saying how sad that was, but <laughs> it's okay. This is Sarah's house now, you know? Um, <laughs> excuse me. This is his bathroom, nothing crazy. And then this room is the master bedroom. This is Sarah's room. Oh, she's already in here. How cute. Um, but we got a wardrobe, some uh, records. Here's her bed. She's got a vanity over there. A seating area for reading. Ew, I think she stinks. I see a green cloud. <laughs> this is her bathroom. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then she has a very nice balcony out here with two loungers and a bonfire pit. So that is everything in the new house. I hope that you guys like it. I moved the tree house over there. Uh, I didn't, it didn't feel right deleting it, you know? So yeah. And then that's an area that I don't really know what to do with yet. Um, but yeah, I think I want to, I want to fence off the animal sheds, but it's kind of a tight space right there. We could put them over here. I could put one over here and then the other one over here, but then it kind of just feels like, it just feels like they're too far away from each other. And then if I put the fence here, well, I guess they could have like this whole area back there and right here. Let's see. It's really freaking hard to build in the snow. I actually hate it. Let's move Ren's plasma fruit tree over there. We'll move the horse's ball to, oh, I'll just put it there for now. Hello? Oh no. Dude, seriously? Huh. Okay. Well, um, I guess we, I can't build right now. So, uh, <laughs> that's fun. I'll, uh, I'll add the fence later once I figure out what's wrong. <laughs> Who knows? I barely have any mods in my game right now. So, uh, who the heck knows? Anyway, so, oh man, it's Winterfest. Dang it. I wonder if it'll let me place a Christmas tree at least. I am so confused right now. It's not letting me. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. Okay. What the? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> right! I totally forgot that I wanted to, uh, I wanted to spend Winterfest in Mount Kamarebi. So I don't really need to worry about, uh, decorating for Christmas since we'll be gone. The reason why I want to do that is because we gave Sarah the Mount Kamarebi. Um... Ooh, there already is a Christmas cabin here. Perfect! <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, well, we'll, we'll go stay there. Um, but yeah, I wanted to go there because Sarah has the new Mount Kamarebi aspiration and I want to work on that a little bit. I'll have her take a vacation day from work so that we can, maybe tomorrow, because she already has today off because it's Christmas, but we might need to take a vacation day tomorrow as well. We'll see how much we can get done. One of you guys had the idea to have Evangeline adopt um, Melissa's kids. Melissa was one of Felix's kids or Luna's kids. I think it was Felix's kid. Um, but yeah, she passed away. I don't really remember how, but all of her kids went to random, like, good grief. That is loud, hold on. All of her kids went to random households, and, uh, I think it would be really cute if, um, if Evangeline adopted them. I don't know how old they are now, though. So, yeah, who knows? Who knows if we'll still be able to do it? Um, so for this Christmas vacation, I want to bring Evangeline and her husband, but we don't know him, so we're not able to invite him. So I need to go to their house and like introduce ourselves to him first. I do remember the Christmas cabin. I remember it was when Edison and Evangeline were kids, like when they just aged up to teens, I think. Okay. Hello. Aw, cheerful introduction. Yeah, I'm just trying to like have him in our relationship panel at least. <laughs> Why are you dazed? Foodie family oriented, good. All right, perfect. Well, um, very nice to meet you. I just wanted to come over and invite you guys to uh, Mount Kamarebi today with us to the Christmas cabin. Hope you can make it, bye. All right, go piss guy. That's literally the only thing that you need for your mood right now. So 
Come on, get get her, get it done. Oh, I totally forgot to uh, assign their beds as well. Okay, and then I also wanted to like lock their computers too because it's just annoying. It's just annoying when like people will come into Edison's room, everyone but Edison. Yeah, and then like try and use it. It's like, bro, you have your own computer. Just go use that, everyone but Sarah. All right. I'm gonna have to get Ren a computer then too, cause she has no access to a computer right now. No. Um, anyway, so, all right. Edison, let's go ahead and plan the vacation. Um, oh, did I not put a light in here? What is going on? Okay, let's bring Eloise. We haven't seen her in a while. Sarah, Ren, uh, Evangeline, Jamie. I think that's good enough. I don't want to bring the horse this time. No, hard pass. Ain't nothing for a horse to do in the mountain, the Mount Kamarebi Mountains at a Christmas cabin. <laughs> yeah, uh, one of you guys mentioned in the comments that uh, the only like travel aspiration that we can't do is the city living, like city native one, because that requires you to live in an apartment, I think worth $100,000 or something like that. Um, and since we can't move away from the legacy lot, as you guys know, because I always say it, <laughs> we can't do that aspiration, but that's okay. Um, I'll probably end up doing the Mount Kamarebi one, possibly the Selva Dorada one. There actually is a Selva Dorada one. And what did that say? A pet sitter will be taking care of Dolly. Nice. Uh, so yeah, we can do those two if we can, if we have time. Because by the time Sarah is an adult, I want to give her the super parent aspiration. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if you guys remember this cabin. It's so festive in here. Like I, <laughs> I love coming here, but yeah, I don't know if you guys remember, um, coming here before when they were teens, but I just like to think that they come here, um, a lot for Christmas. It's like a family tradition, if you will. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a good time here. We need to give Sarah some energy. Oh my gosh, she got a trophy in her inventory from the horse riding competition and she has all her tassels in her inventory. <gasps> we should totally put them up in her room. I think that would be really cute. But anyway, I'm gonna grab her a moodlet solver from the store so that we can get busy on this aspiration a little bit. So what we have to do is, oh, we should probably introduce ourselves to Jamie as well. Why are you crying, Ren? Don't cry, it's okay. Uh, so eat food at the Festival of Light, Snow or Youth. Take a selfie with the mascot, collect a simi um, by popping open a simi capsule and swim for one hour in the river. Sarah likes homebody sims? That checks out, I'll take it. All right, so... I'm pretty sure that requires us to travel to the little square. Um, <laughs> Sarah can just be like, okay guys, I'm gonna go explore the city. I'll, uh, I'll see y'all later. Bye. <laughs> so she has to swim in this river, I think. I don't know where all the action happens. I think it's over here actually. Okay, let's travel. Yeah, let's travel to this bathhouse. Yeah. I think that there's stuff over there that we can do. And since we're on a wholesome family vacation, I don't think we should bring anyone back to our rental <laughs> this time. Maybe we could take a solo trip in the future. Honestly, I think it's really wholesome that like Edison and his girl and Evangeline and her man are just like together in the rental hanging out. <laughs> twins and their twins and their mates. Um, oh, here's the machine. Um, yeah, Sarah probably was like, okay, well, I'm not trying to be fifth wheel, so I'm gonna head out, I'm gonna explore, see y'all later. I'll be back for Christmas dinner, maybe. I believe this thing is a, these are collect, this is a collection as well. I know that we can die from shaking these machines. I wonder how many capsules there are. I'm assuming 10. Oh, she's gonna, whoa! <laughs> Girl, oh my God, she just randomly walked up to this man and propositioned him to go woohoo in the hot springs. I've always wanted to see this Sim like in person. I always see him in the relationship panel. He's just so beefy, but no, my girl, I didn't mean, I, she's, she's taking this too far. She's taking it way too far. Anyway, take a selfie with the mascot, eat food at the festival. What the, what is happening here? Is this a werewolf? Yeah, it is. Oh my God, he looks, he looks rough. So there isn't really much that we can do at the moment now that I'm thinking about it. 
Um, the mascot is probably at the festival. Um, I have no idea when the festivals are. Oh, Festival of Light is on Friday. Okay, I need to try and remember that. <laughs> okay, so next thing that we can do is uh, take a swim in the river. Oh no! An attractive town center featuring Mount Kamarebi's official mascot. Okay, yeah, this is the area that we need to go to. Kind of crazy that I've never done these aspirations before. They've just never really like interested me or they never really fit in my gameplay. But that's why I love Legacy so much is like when you randomize the aspirations and you randomize their traits, it's like it kind of forces you to do different things and to like it like forges its own story. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> is this the mat? Take selfie. I didn't, I didn't know if it was like the actual mascot that you needed to take it with or this statue, but let's see if this works. Kanji. Okay. That did not work, but that's okay. Hopefully the mascot shows up. Oh, we can ice skate. Where is this river as well that we can swim in? Is it this? It's gotta be, right? It's actually not that cold over here. There's barely any snow and it's not even freezing. Okay, there, it worked. <laughs> I don't know why we had to do it for an hour, but okay. Um, let me, uh, <gasps> there he is. Oh my gosh, okay. <gasps> no, I teleported her here and now she looks crazy. Swimming, oh my God, help me. Take a selfie. <gasps> I messed up. I messed up. <laughs> okay, uh, it worked, even though it didn't really work. Um, anywho, let's see. Sarah's a love bug. These sims fall in love easily and deeply, experiencing the joys and heartaches of love more intensely. Whether caught up manifesting love through their latest blog, watching a beloved telenovela, or being stuck in a daydream, every moment is a beautiful scene from a romantic saga. I love it. So she romanticizes everything. Okay. Well, we've done everything that we possibly can for this branch of the aspiration. I'm so sorry that you guys have to witness this. This is actually horrible. I love Sims glitches. Actually, that's a lie. 90% of the time they make my blood boil, but that one was actually kind of funny. <laughs> I kind of like view these aspirations as like, a, like reading a travel blog. Like Sarah Googled, what is there to do in Mount Kamarebi? And there's just this list, swim in the river, open a simi, take a selfie with the mascot, <laughs> eat food at the festival. You know, that's kind of like how I'm viewing this, uh, these aspirations. But anywho, it's 6.30. I want Edison to cook a grand meal. He's currently watching w World Culture Network. Um, now nah, let's cook a grand meal. Let's do, um, let's do ham. The last time I tried to cook at a rental, it didn't work. Oh my god, the chocolate fountain. Oh, oh. Dang it. I was hoping that was a pop-up about Teddy's child. Sarah, why don't you come get a get a strawberry? I also really want to listen to um winter music, but I don't see um Oh, there there's a jukebox right here. Oh, not her asking Ren for an autograph. She's like, "Please no. Like we're on family vacation right now." All right, music's on. Eloise is dancing. C Edison's cooking. <gasps> is this the bread pudding from years ago? Why do I feel like it is? That is hilarious. <laughs> Ooh, coffee. <gasps> oh my God. I think Ren just proposition propositioned Sarah again. How do I stop that from happening? Like without a mod? That's actually driving me insane. Yay. Are you getting a strawberry? Oh my God, yum. Those are some massive strawberries. At the oh, hi! He's here already. Welcome. Oh no, not <laughs> Edison. Please, I thought you maxed your cooking skill. What happened? Hello, Faza Winta. What's good, my guy? Can I have a present? I gotta keep an eye on these people. Make sure they don't woohoo with each other. You know. What's going on? Oh my God, that scared me. What did Sarah get? Do we even get anything? No? Ren, don't eat that. My girl, you're gonna get nauseous, don't. 
Just sit down and have a plasma pack or something. Merry Christmas, everybody. Everyone is sitting down and eating. I'm shook right now. When does this ever happen? Ren's over there with a plasma pack. Oh my god. That's so funny. Evangeline is so freaking cute. I can't. Anyway, you didn't get your present. I want you to have one. I really hate that the grand meal thing, it's like you have to cook it, you know? Eating the grand meal should count. It should count. Everyone is so stoked right now. Not you being in your towel, Edison. There's a sauna in here, so. <gasps> Edison has learned about more Aiden is now attracted to him. Not attracted to Faza Winta. Badish. A uh, life under a microscope. Huh, I don't know what that is, but it sounds it sounds appropriate for him with his geek genius trait. Thank you. Heavy metal? Oh my god, it was a metal- Oh, he dipped. Um, okay. That was a metal that we needed for our collection. So I would say that is a big win. W gift. The fountain has already been spiked. Oh, good lord. All right, guys. Everyone come and open your presents. And then, of course, we got to sing Maisie Grow. I mean, that's- that's- just a must. Whoa, break it down, girl. Break it down, boy. They're such a cute couple. I can't with them. Guys, open the freaking presents. Stop dancing. There isn't even music playing. All right, I'm turning it off. Oh no. Does she get sadness and... They both got presents. Why? What happened? Why isn't it telling me what everyone's getting for their presents? I usually get pop-ups. Oh my God, Sarah got a TV. Yo, a uh, duffel of cash? Are you kidding me? Well, I guess this family is rich, but <laughs> flat screen TVs, money. Good grief, dude. All right, let's hear it. Oh, Eloise is getting something. Look at the sparkles. Maisie Grove. Crave Maisie Grove. Not the death during this wholesome moment. Who was it? A family member to boot. Bellamy to boot. <sighs> Man, you guys know how you guys know how much I love Bellamy. Rest in peace. Not on Christmas. This game is so twisted sometimes. All right, Winterfest was really good for everyone. Hell yeah! <laughs> it ended as soon as they were done. Um, as soon as they were done singing, so very good. Maybe him and Eloise should woohoo for the first time. Cuddle in bed. 2.30 a.m. This was a really good Christmas. Everything went smoothly and according to plan. <laughs> oh my God, the fireplace is lit. How romantic. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Aww, I'm, I haven't seen this yet. Wait, I can't see. Aww. I literally can't. It's too cute. Send home from vacation. <laughs> Go to sleep cuddling. What the? Who's crying? In Evangeline, why are you crying? Another death? Bailey. Oh my god, dude. 
Bailey and Bellamy were twins and they died on the same day. Gosh, that is so freaking sad. In other news, I didn't realize they haven't had their first kiss yet. That's wild. Oh my god, not the clothes flying. I think this is Edison's second time. Or second person that he's woohooed with. I'm happy for you. I am. Dude, I swear, if you flirted with Jamie and that's why Edison was crying, I'm gonna freak out. Okay. Jamie doesn't even show up in her relationship panel, so that's pretty good. What about you? She has amazing compatibility with him, though. Who knows why she was crying, but I feel really bad. Aww. Oh my god. This go to sleep cuddling interaction. It's too good. It's too good. I'm obsessed. Okay, what's happening down here? Why haven't you gone to sleep yet? Do you just not sleep? Oh, the ranch hand's here. What's up? <laughs> Aw, it's snowing. What a nice little Christmas this was. Truly. Are you finally gonna go sleep with her? Nope, he's just cleaning everything. Okay, what it is? what is it about Sims and dancing? Who's this? Why is the gardener here? You're in the wrong house, my guy. All right, gang. Well, uh, we should probably head home now. I don't really see the need to stay any longer. Uh, there's nothing else we need to do for the aspiration just now. Or like right now. And Christmas is done. I just need to remember to go to the festival tomorrow. I swear if I forget. So I believe this is episode 91 of Legacy. What do you guys think we should do for the 100th episode? Like in the game, you know? We need to do something to celebrate, but I can't think of anything. So if you guys have any suggestions, you know what to do, dude. Leave them in the comments. Nice towel, Ren. <laughs> Sarah's just a little bit hungry. She's got work, right? Oh, I guess not. Okay, that's fine. Oh my God, I forgot that we redid the house for a second and that was, that was weird. That was weird. I don't understand why there's two ranch hands and why they're just standing around. I swear, it's such a waste of money. Dude, I've gotten freaking two job offers in the past two minutes. Like, no, dude, no. I'm good, thanks. Okay, and then we need to finish Ren's aspiration too. We need to make five pieces of excellent jewelry and complete crafting gemstones or jewelry 10 times while focused. Did she finish that first? Oh my God, she never finished it. I think I need to move the archeology span table somewhere else because every time she is authentic, <laughs> oh my God, all these fish. She sees all these fish and she gets extremely sad about it. Oh my God, we already had a bone fish. All right, we got $3,464 for authenticating that artifact. Not bad, dude, not bad at all. That's actually really decent money. <laughs> Quick meltdown before work, no big deal. <laughs> They're vibing in the skill room. I love that. Who are you? Oh, yeah, I'll take the money. Thank you. Oh, let me put up this stuff in her room. I'm gonna have her uh, practice her guitar while I do that. Let's see, where shall we put the tassels? Hmm, maybe over here by this dress? Let's see. Oh, how cute. Combine. Sarah needs to collect a tassel of each color, 10 in total before she combine them. For she can combine them for a reward. Oh, that's so cool. What? How come it's not letting me put it on the wall? Come on. Ugh. Fine. Be that way. Oh, it's not letting me put anything on the wall. Oh my God. <sighs> my build, like build mode is all messed up. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out later. <gasps> what is that? <gasps> Edison made bread? Are you joking? That looks so, how cute. Just look at the kitchen with the bread. It's just too cute guys, I can't. So adorable. I'll leave the tree there until winter's over. What the, what are you doing? No. Oh, watch season premiere. Yeah, they both should do that. I kind of want to add Eloise to our, our club so that she just comes around more often. Oh, we can't. I really don't understand why. So strange that some sims pop up and some don't. Welcome home, Ren. Let's get the mail and see if they sent you any more artifacts to authenticate. Oh my God, when you read 
romance books, little hearts flutter above their heads. That is so adorable. All right, a compensation for the time and effort Ren spent on authenticating the mask, $4,734. That's pretty dang good, dude. It's pretty dang good. All right, she's very fit. What are you doing in the money thing? Play with money, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, let's charge that on the crystal grid. What does this do? Uh, it's not working. Why? Oh, well, she's feeling very focused, so I'm going to get her to design more jewelry. Okay, let me see. This star, Sims wants will refresh more often. Oh, that's a, that's a new one. Oh, no, Edison's all glitched out. What the heck's going on? All right, y'all. It's Friday, and unfortunately... Oh, we can work from home, actually, and still make it to the uh, Festival of Light today. I don't know what time it's at, but um, 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we could technically do it after work then if we wanted to send her. Oh my God, Teddy is calling Sarah, but she's at work so I couldn't see what she said. That's weird. She never calls her. Okay, we just need two more pieces of jewelry crafted while she's focused. Edison, what do you think you're doing? Why don't you, uh, why don't you spray these bugs? Oh, you can? Well, why not? This garden is looking awful. All right, one more. One more, and then I think this aspiration will be done. Oh, nope. Cut a gemstone valued at 2,500, reach level 10 gemology, summon the Grim Reaper with jet gemstone or jewelry. Ooh, that sounds fun. <laughs> I think we already have a jet gemstone, the gnome. You're telling me we can summon the Grim Reaper with that? Wow. Sims will always, wait, Sims will always succeed when pleading for someone's life. No way. Okay, we did it. We did the damn thing. All right, let's see. Oh, dang, it needs to be charged first. Okay, fair enough. Let's go, Sarah. Promoted to emotional health counselor. Wow, we got a consultant plaque decoration and a bonus. Whee! That's exciting. All right, the gnome is charging. So, um, okay, Festival of Light. Okay, okay, um, we need, there's so much going on right now. We need to cut a gemstone worth 2,500. I don't, I don't know how to do that. I guess we should probably use our most expensive, no, total cost, hmm. valued at 2500 i don't know how to do that but anyways sarah how's your mood you're just a little bit hungry which is perfect because we need to eat food at the festival what is that what is happening that's so sus i actually think we can travel straight from the menu yes um exclusive sayaki sayaki may look like fish but don't be fooled these famous fish shaped cakes have a delicious filling that comes in a variety of flavors make a Tanabata wish. Leave a wish on the Tanabata tree to send your hopes and dreams to the stars. Traditional outfits. Pay your respects. I've never done this festival before. At least I don't think I have. Okay, we are here. Whoa. Nice. Lucian? That's a really beautiful name. Ashley Bonilla? That's the same last name as Triss, our vampire girlfriend. Interesting. We already know you though. Okay, so this is the festival. <gasps> we can buy a kimono. Oh, Crystal had a female baby. Uh, wow, Teddy and Cliff had another, another boy. What did you name him this time? Reed? That's not bad. We should totally get one, why not? Let's have some fun with it. All right, let's have a, have a, have a look. Wow, that's really pretty actually. I'm a fan. What are you getting? Browse vending machine. Oh, let's keep getting... Dude, enough with the deaths. This is the fourth one. I don't even know who that is, but rest in peace. Okay, what do we need to do here? Eat food. Ooh, we got a gold gnome. Nice. All right. Uh, let's get... Mmm, salmon nigiri. Oh my god, what is happening? Is he stargazing? I thought he died for a second. Is there a famous person here? Oh, happy birthday! There's so much happening. Oh my goodness. Stank face. Resting stank face if I've ever seen one. I like your nose contour. All right. 
We did it. We did the first branch. We just needed to eat some food. <laughs> Soak for a long time in the hot spring. Wear a festival costume from a vending machine. We're already doing that. Eat food using chopsticks and go sledding three times. Okay, well, um, let's get some more food then. We are, we're already, does the costume not, I mean, does the kimono not count as a costume? All right, I set her eating preference as with chopsticks. What, why is she so good at it already? Usually my sims have, <laughs> have troubles. What's over here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They got the fish stuff over here. Let's get a matcha one. Oh god, are you about to give birth? Let me see. Does a kimono count? It does. I don't know why it's not registering, but... Oh, wait. Yeah. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna click that one off because we already did it. Soak for a long time in a hot spring. What is a long time? Complete relaxation buff. Got it. Oh, hello. Oh, you didn't even eat your fish. <laughs> oh, she's... She's so pretty. Aw, look at these two watching the sky. How sweet! Dude, you're joking another one all right well the last thing that we need to do is soak in a hot spring oh wait no we need to go sledding um okay let's let's travel over to the to the bathhouse so we can go in the hot spring that festival of light was a little underwhelming relax in hot springs oh good she fell asleep now she won't get out <laughs> Oh my god, you guys, this is actually so cute. Oh, it makes sense. Sarah's been enjoying the great outdoors, the fresh air and excitement. Yeah, she's definitely adventurous, traveling all the time. Are you kidding? Yes, 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 100%. Why are you so flirty? Eternal optimism from being a love bug. <laughs> Complete relaxation. Okay, perfect. We did it. All right, now we just need to go sledding three times, but it is four in the morning and we're exhausted. So I will leave that for the next time we come back. I really hope this gemstone is worth $2,500 because then the last thing that we need to do is summon the Grim Reaper, which we can do right now. Well. Dang it, 1200. Okay, well, we'll try again later, but let's go ahead and summon the Grim Reaper right now. Looks like we can do it already. What What are you doing? Why are you guys just, just chilling in the treehouse? You're adorable. All right, let's see what this looks like. <gasps> oh, Apala Chaba. Where's he at though? Oh, he's here somewhere. Why did you spawn all the way over here? Dude. This would have been so cool for Mystical Motherhood. Such an easy way to get Grim here. Uh, damn, that's dope. So if you cut a gemstone with Jet, you can summon the Grim Reaper whenever you want. I don't know. Grim, I like Grim. He, he seems like he could keep up with Ren perhaps. Why is he embarrassed? Don't be embarrassed, it's okay. Oh, happy new year. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I am going to end this episode right here because I would like to celebrate New Year's properly um, in the next one. I don't know what I want to do. I'll think about it though. I also really need to fix my build mode. I don't know what's going on with that, but that is, uh, that's very stressful not being able to place anything. Also, we do need to do Ren's last uh, crystal thingy. I don't, what is the reward for this? Attuned. Attuned Sims have great insights into the mysteries of crystals. The jewelry they wear will remain charged for longer and they can absorb energy from charged crystals. That's pretty sick. I like that. Also, 
The jungle explorer aspiration. The reward trait is treasure hunter. They get extra treasure. All right, cool. So yeah, next episode, New Year's Eve. Um, there's also Starlight Accolades and the Festival of Youth. Um, and then Egg Day. Let's see, what level is Sarah now in her career? Five, okay, not bad, not bad. She has um, 4,900 aspiration points. This potion removes any existing romance dynamic between the Sims. This Sim and one romantic charger. Whoa, charger, why did I say that? <laughs> Partner, did anything else come with? Love struck. I don't think so. We should totally do this paranormal investigator thing with Ren at some point as well. Also, I just realized that we didn't buy any animals yet. I think uh, I'm going to wait until winter's over. It is the last day of winter. So next season is spring, the perfect time to get some animals. <laughs> uh, so yeah, next episode we'll definitely get some. Um, I'll try to continue fencing this off. Uh, I, I have no idea what's going on with that, but yeah. And then one of you guys also suggested that we do some horse breeding, which could be fun too. Another aspect that we can explore from the, the horse ranch pack. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoy the new house. As always, let me know what you think. Leave me comments. I love you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye!